easily the best build I have ever done. So this is what we're working with initially. So ignore the dog hairs that are flown on there. Tea out and just spread fresh air. He is not pleased. Right, let's have a bit more of an in-depth look. All right, so this is what we're working with initially. It's a four by two by two uh, Repti Breeze, set up for a chameleon and definitely not a toke. However, it's time for some conversion. So that's two coats of the waterproof paint, waterproof wood paint. Um, it doesn't need to look good because this is gonna basically be a foam background anyway. Uh, so ignore the dog hairs that are flown on there. Um, and if it is patchy, which I don't think it is, it doesn't matter anyway, because it's just basically to give it a little waterproof barrier. And that is gonna be what the background is put on.
All right, so as seen on Brad's bioactive builds, but a lot better than mine. There's the cable going out. There's the 40 mil fan in the middle of the corrugated plastic that tees off. So the air is gonna be dragged through here. Obviously I'm gonna put some mesh over the front of it to stop anyone getting in. Taken through there, tee out and just spread fresh air. Um, I've tested it, it works. I mean, I don't know if that's gonna be powerful enough to do anything here, I'm assuming so. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing it in action. So that's going through there. These are gonna get meshed up and then the cork bark is gonna go over the top and hide it. things around and he is not pleased sorry buddy did I wake you up and this is where she'll be situated now a mistake I made this is four by two by two this is four by two tall by 18 deep so unfortunately there's room Back and, back and front, unfortunately, but not enough for it to be a problem. So it does stick out a little bit, but not a problem. So once the background's all done, this is gonna go, this is gonna start getting set up. All right, so this is how we're looking now that the second amount of foam is on. Now time to start picking away the shiny stuff. All right, there was absolutely no way I was gonna be filming myself bringing that up the stairs. But we're in. There's a couple of little patches that might need touching up, but we're looking good. You've got a couple of little basking spots, possibly. Obviously, plant's gonna go in there, plant's gonna go in there, plant's gonna go in there. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm knackered. I've literally, obviously, there's where one of the vents comes out. That's another one. I'm really happy with that. So let's carry on the setup, shall we? 
All right, so substrate. Couple of coil blocks. Jungle bio, drainage blocks, sphagnum moss, and some cocoa fiber as well. All mixed together. Um, yeah, let's get it going. Since I was last recording, um, my phone was just about to die, so I've added some soil into the plant, I guess DIY pots. Uh, that's from her original enclosure. She is still in there, obviously, but that's one of the plants that I could get out without disturbing her too much. And a snake plant from the milk snake enclosure because she just keeps toppling them anyway. I think I'm gonna need more substrate, to be fair, only because I wanted to get it sort of that level anyway. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. But for now, let's start putting some logs in. Now these, I'll get any cook. Uh, I might need trimming, possibly. Oh, maybe not. I mean, we're getting there, but to be fair, I think for this to work properly, I do need to fill it with substrate because then it will give me that extra what? Extra four to six inches just to be able to lift the logs up a bit higher. Um, it is looking good. I am really happy with it, but I think I just need a bit more substrate, get a bit of a structure going on, and then I can start doing some vertical and horizontal logs as well. Like this is quite a small one, so this will probably be some sort of horizontal at some point um but to be fair as much as i don't want to i think that may have to be it for today on my way home from work tomorrow i'll pick up a few more bits and then hopefully finish it before the end of the week all right so there's my log structure for now we're looking good i've still got to get some cork bark some hollow tubes i'm going to put the rest of the um top soil in there as well but let's get to planting, shall we? The pride I have in this enclosure is unmatched. There's more cork added, cork tubes. You've got a couple of levels in there, hiding places in between each cork piece. The LED light is on, as you can see. However, we're not done up there. 35 watt halogen, T5 UVB, 7% shade dweller. Let's get these sorted. Right, let's have a bit more of an in-depth look. Hopefully this survived, no, not the log, the bromeliad survives. I've not had much luck with them so far, but hopefully this is it. Pothos, pothos, whatever you want to call it, up there. Obviously this stuff does do really well, so hopefully it should do really well in here as well. That's one of the original plants that was in her original enclosure. Um, I've whacked that in the back, hopefully that's all right. Um, a snake plant from the milk snake enclosure, because she kept, I guess you could call it trampling it. And you've got this lovely plant here as well, which I've already forgotten what it was called. Um, but yeah, I mean, to tell you I'm buzzing about this is an understatement. The um, ventilation, the ducting system is working. I can hear it whirring away. Uh, there is a slight breeze coming out as well, which is what, yeah, I can feel that. So that's what we want. Obviously it's dragging air from under there, pushing it up and recirculating it around. Shout out to Brad's Bioactive Builds for that idea you've got the 35 watt halogen up top the seven percent shade dweller and of course the led bar and here she is 
And there she goes. This was Delta. This is Delta. Easily one of the most beautiful animals I currently have in my collection, without a doubt. And this is her new home. And that is that. Um, like I say, easily, easily the best build I have ever done. Um, in actual fact, let me show you how it looks now. And it's probably about three weeks since it was finished. So yeah, it's actually grown in quite well. Uh, usually for me, bromeliads last maybe four or five days and then they start going a bit meh. Nah. But this one's doing really well. I think it's because of the addition of the LED lighting as well as the overhead heat UVB and that it's quite a humid setup. Um, like I say, it's my favorite project that I've ever done. There are more to come, so stick around. Um, shout out to the patrons. Really appreciate each and every single one of you, of course, who just do that little bit extra to support me. It does go a long way. Um, and the support that you are giving me is helping me upgrade these animals. Everyone else, I also love you, of course. And for now, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all of the good stuff. And we will see you in the next one. Peace out.